Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. The topic of today's class is Introduction to Casting. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. What is casting? In casting, the starting work material is either a liquid or is in a highly plastic condition, and a part is created through solidification of the material. Casting and molding processes dominate this category of shaping processes. The solidification processes can be classified according to engineering material being processed. That is, solidification of metals. Solidification of ceramics, specifically glasses and, the solidification of polymers and polymer matrix composites, or, in short, PMCs. So, during casting, the solidification processes can be classified into three types depending on which type of material is being processed. That is, casting of metals, glass working, and processing of polymers and PMCs or the polymer matrix composites. The casting of metals can be further classified as expandable mold castings and permanent mold castings. The expandable mold casting processes can be further classified into other casting processes, including the sand casting process. The processing of polymers and PMCs can also be classified into further types. But in our class, our topic is to study casting. So we will study everything related to casting processes only. Casting is the process in which molten metal flows by gravity or other force into a mold where it solidifies in the shape of the mold cavity. The term casting is also applied to the part that is made by this process. Principle of casting is pretty simple. Melt the metal. Pour it into a mold. Let it freeze. However, to accomplish a successful casting, many variables and factors must be considered. Casting include both the casting of ingots and the casting of shapes. Ingot casting. It describes a large casting that is simple in shape and intended for subsequent reshaping by processes such as rolling or forging. And, shape casting, involves the production of more complex geometries that are much closer to the final desired shape. Casting capabilities and advantages can be summarized as follows. Casting can create complex part geometries, including both external and internal shapes. Some casting processes are capable of producing net shape, others are capable of producing near net shape, which need further processing. Casting can be used to produce very large parts. Can be performed on any metal that can be heated to the liquid state. Some casting processes are suited to mass production. Casting processes have also disadvantages, different disadvantages for different casting methods can be as follows. Limitations on mechanical properties. Porosity. Poor dimensional accuracy and surface finish for some processes. Safety hazards to humans when processing hot molten metals. Environmental problems. So, we had a detailed introduction to casting. Thank you.